All right. And uh, the final one that I'm going to show, which is super useful, is a log. Okay, log basically puts all the elements. It logs all the elements in the string. Okay, so here, I'm going to this thing here. This is log. All it does is uh, write to the write to the standard out or a log that you specify, but it just basically copies all the elements as is. It doesn't it doesn't modify. The flux is basically a the copy of the flux, right? It doesn't change any elements of its own, but it just prints to the output. And I'm going to quickly demonstrate a log so you get an idea. That's probably the easiest to show. So here, I'm going to go to exercise three. What I have here is a um, an int numbers flux, and I do a two stream and I do a two list, right? What we felt was like, okay, this is um, it's taking a lot of time. Why is it taking a lot of time? Because it has to wait for the whole stream to return. What's happening here? I don't know. Okay. You, you don't get have visibility into it. You get the whole thing only when the whole thing is done. And what you can do is you can add a dot log operator in the middle. And all it's going to do is it's going to log it and it's going to create a new flux, which is basically like log and then return the element as is. Okay. So it's going to be a copy of the flux with an additional behavior that it is logging the element. Now if you run this, you're going to see the all the on next being requested. Okay, so you see a request, initial request, this is the default request size, which which this thing makes when you have a subscribe, or when you have a two stream, you have on next happening, there is element one, element two, element three, all the way to element 10. And now there is an on complete. And then we have this thing. So somebody asked about debugging earlier. Log is a great way to debug. It actually tells you what's happening. And if you just want to print out values instead of just doing, uh, you know, a for each, or like you don't do a for each. Instead of adding a system out print in all the, all the place, you can just do a dot log. Okay, very easy way to do it. So this is this is the log operator. Okay, what this returns is another flux, and I'm calling the to stream on that flux. So. Does the position of the log matter? Well, it depends on what you want to log. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate. So let's uh, let's do the exercise, and I'm going to show you show you how that works. Okay, so do this with me. This should be fairly simple. We can do it together, and I will illustrate the position of the log and how it makes a difference. So here is the first one: print all the values of the int number flux that's greater than five. Okay, so I'm going to get the reactive sources dot int numbers flux. If I have to print everything, what do I do? I do subscribe. I'm going to use the functional interface this time. Okay. This is how I print every element in the int numbers flux, but that's not what I want. I want to print all the values in the int number flux that's greater than five. Okay. So what do I do? I do a dot filter. Right? I'm doing a filter on, on the flux. Okay. And here I'm going to do for each element, I want E greater than five. So now notice what happens. I'm going to run this guy. It's waiting. Doesn't have five yet. It's going one, two, three, four. Now six, seven, eight. 9, 10 gets printed, right? Notice what happens when I do a dot log here. You see here? Those things are being logged. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This, it hasn't gone over here, right? It hasn't cleared the filter, but it is still there and it is logging it. Only after 6. Do you get system dot out dot println, right? This log logged the values of this flux, which is which is still emitting a value, right? However, if I were to put this log over here, after the filter, what's going to happen? Filter is going to give a new flux where the earlier, like whatever is doesn't meet the predicate, those events don't even fire in this flux, which is the return of this filter. So I put the fil I put the log after the filter. What happens? I don't get those once because the filter is blocking it. 
this log is going to get an event only when the filter has let the event go, right? It has let the uh, item go. So I only get that part. The previous ones I don't get. So the position of the log matters because changing the position means you're doing a log on a completely different flux, okay? Here, you were doing a log on the int numbers flux, which was all the numbers. But when you do here, you're doing a flux, which is a return of a filter, which is a completely different flux, which doesn't doesn't issue the the first five items. I hope that makes sense. So this is the first exercise. Print all the values from the int number flux that's greater than five. Okay, very good. Let's look at the next one. 